Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to download Windows 10 and install it in VirtualBox. So if you Google this one, tag preview Windows 10 download link and uh, if you scroll down the I believe the first one download and uh, here you go you can see the all the download link here from Microsoft they have a different version English version 32-bit version as well so after you download we can start make a virtual machine in our virtual box so I have virtual box here installed already so we can new a Windows 10 64-bit English okay and uh, you need to pick up the uh, Windows 10 here we don't have Windows 10 here so we pick up the latest one Windows 8.1 64-bit next one and uh, how many memory we can assign it to so we I choose 2 gig memory and uh, the hard drive virtual hard drive we can create a new hard drive for it so pick up the hard drive image what kind of image this one really doesn't matter so here pick up the default one and uh, how do you allow to assign the space is dynamic allocated or fixed size I pick up this one because this one we are growing um, based on the usage of the virtual windows so I will go this one and uh, ask you how the size of the hard drive so I leave a default 25 gig create okay we create a uh, Windows 10 64 bit now we need to go back to the settings okay basically we need assign the installation file installation ISO file to this virtual machine okay we click storage look at this one the CD there's uh, nothing in the CD so we need to pick up a file choose the virtual file so in our downloaded folder if you download it then you pick up the one you need okay click open so now you have this file linked to your virtual box VM so click OK now you are ready to start the virtual windows now okay okay starting let's give it a second okay ask you to pick up your language so I set a default install now okay okay agreed license okay so I need pick up the advanced because I need use my recent edit virtual hard drive so click next So it's starting copying files. It will take a while. Let's take a break. Okay, it will take a while. Now uh, it's rebooting now. Let's see. Okay, this one is the uh, first boot. In this video, you will learn how video. to transfer Office 2013 license to it. It's doing another reboot. Okay. After secondary boot, we got this screen.
now let me try use express settings it uh, asked me the online account so it seems didn't give me the option to create a local local account to log in yeah create new account let's see Okay, in this screen, it's give you the option now. Give you the option sign in without a, a Microsoft account. So let me try this one. Oh, finally. If I type that as admin. Okay. So now I'm able to log in as a regular local account. Okay, we are in now. Let's uh, take a quick look on this Windows 10. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, no metro interface anymore. Looks more traditional than Windows 8. It seems close to Windows 7. Okay, start button, start menu is showing up. And uh, all applications here looks more like uh, Windows 7 now. And the metro tire shortcut still showing here so it's kind of yeah it's still here so you can pin something here or remove something customize it okay this is uh, I think it's the biggest change on this version and uh, when I move the mouse to the corner it it doesn't show those uh, tram bar anymore what the bar? No, I'm not sure when the corner. Okay. Uh, let's see the <coughs> Windows Explorer. Okay, it's uh, quite similar, and uh, you can. Yeah, this is the menu button view. Computer. Okay. Let's check the store, Microsoft store. Okay, the store is here. So usually this application is a full, full screen screen application. So now it's allow you to run it in window mode. So you can basically minimize, maximize, and uh, resize the window. I think this one is the secondary biggest change. Okay. Now if we look at the right click the log, the start button, you still have those uh, shortcut to all the settings, kind of thing, mostly related with settings. Okay, control panel is very similar to Windows 7. Okay, and uh, what else? I think that's it. Eh? It's more like a Windows 7 now. Okay. Yeah, let's see the version. Pop up properties. So this one, it didn't say Windows 10 or Windows 9. Just uh, yeah. 
if we type version is Microsoft uh, version 6.4 so that's all for this video thank you for watching